hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to solve one of the sql question which is generally asked in interview so the question is like this is related to the joining question so they will give you the two table like this so suppose i have given one table where id is present and my value is like one one zero and null this is my first table similarly i have a second table column is id and the values are one one zero zero null and null this is the two table I have now what actually I have to find out I have to find out if I'll perform a inner join operation how many records I will get if I'll perform a left join how many records or rows you can say how many rows you will get if you perform a right join operation how many rows you will get similarly for full join and the cross join so this is the question which is mostly asked in interview so you can see this is the table one this is a table two and here you can see we have a null values few of the null values are there and you can see few of the records which is present multiple time and based on that you have to give this now the thing is like directly you have to tell like how many records we will get when we will perform a inner join so coming to the inner join when we say inner join right inner join is like which is common in both the table so what generally mistakes generally we do so you can see these three right one is present here three time here two time means this is a common so generally people write like uh, this is a three uh, zero is also present in the both the tables so this is a one and null is also present in both the table so null also they counts but generally it doesn't work like this so what generally happens you can see it whatever the inner join right row by row actually it calculates so first one it will check this first one row it whether it is present how many time one is present in the this table three time right so for this one three time present similarly for this one right how many time one is present in both the table three times so like this so this one present three time this one is present three time through three plus six this zero how many time present in both the table one time this zero how many time present in both the table one time so you can see three plus three six one plus one two so total we get the eight now coming to the null so null generally null means nothing right so generally you will not see any record so how many records we will get for the inner joint we will get total eight records so this is how actually you should calculate and you should tell like how many records you will get so you can see one right this one is present how many time in both the table three times right so this one how many time present three time that's why three plus three this zero only one time so one time which is zero one time one time so total is a eight records let's do a practical and let me show you so i created a two table now if i write a inner join operation select star from table a inner join table b on table a dot id table b dot id now if i'll execute let's see how many records we will get you can see total we are getting a eight records for the inner join and there is nothing you can see no null values because null values null means nothing so there won't be any match so in inner join whenever we have a matching records in both the table that actually we count so total we got the eight now coming to the left join in a left join what generally we do we will get all the records from a left join and only the matching records from a both the table so that is a left join so in this case how many record we will get so first we'll count the what is the matching records we have so you can see one present three times so three one present three times that is three zero is present one time this zero also is matching so one total matching is eight record and uh, what is left this null is separate so all the records from a left table we will get so this null also is present so this also will count so how many records we'll get we'll get a total nine records if i'll show you here if i'll do a left join and if i'll execute i should get total nine records you can see null is also present total nine row we are getting coming to the right joint we will get all the record from a right table and only the matching records we will get from a left table so 
you can see what is the matching records matching records is 8 right so here also matching record is 8 now in a right table we also have a two more record that is a null so how many records we will get 3 plus 3 6 2 and the 2 null 8 plus 2 means total 10 records all the matching records and all the records which is present in the right table and the matching records from both the table that is a right join so total 10 if I show you a right join we should get a 10 table 10 records you can see 10 records now coming to the full join in a full join we get all those record if it is matching in the both the table that also if it is not matching that those record also we will get so if I'll show you here here if I'll show you full join and if I'll execute how many records we will get we will get the 11 rows so you can see matching is 8 right 2 records 8 plus 2 and 1 null so total we will get the 11 records coming to the cross what is a cross join in the cross join you can see how many records here we have 5 record uh, 5 records right here how many records we have we have a 6 so it will work like 5 into 6 means total 30 total 30 records we will get so like this we calculate so inner join whatever the matching records in both the table left join all the records from a left table and the matching records from both the table in right join all the matching records and all the records from a right table full join all the records you will get from both the table and the cross join is like multiply how many records here we have how many records here we have so do practice this is very important question